We're on the field in Kansas City where the Blue Jays season ended tonight. Uh, Rob Longley with Steve Sivens for Post Media. A 4-3 loss, but what a game it was. So many layers to it. And really, Steve, a lot of it began when the Jays unlikely tied it up with a two-run homer to make it 3-3. And that was a complete story the rest of the night. What a night for Jose Batista. Uh, he hits a home run early to make it 2-1. Then he hits a home run to put the Jays ahead. Or sorry, sorry, to tie the game right. late that nobody thought that was going to happen. And then in the ninth, after the rain delay, and after, you know, not sure what was going on, who was going to pitch, all those things involved, uh, a ball hit by Eric Hosmer to right field with Lorenzo Cain on first base. What a run he made. And you have to go back. I mean, there's a famous play. Johnny Pesky held the ball. Eno Slaughter scored from first base in a oh. World Series, what, in the 40s? Yep. People have been talking about that ever since. I don't think I've ever seen a guy score from first base on a base hit and Kane never stopped. I mean, he just took off and the coach had him going and he ran through it. And Jose Batista, who hit the two home runs, yeah. kind of made a throw to the wrong place. Yeah, Lorenzo Kane didn't break stride and that's the main reason that he got across for, the, for that big run. The other thing is, you know, a lot of people will talk about David Price, the starter, once again, not getting a win. I thought David Price was pretty darn good tonight. In fact, if you're going to blame any of the pitching, it would probably be the Jays' bullpen. Well, it's strange because what's the season been like? The two kids in the bullpen really have been lights out. Aaron Sanchez as the eighth inning guy, Roberto Osuna as the closer, and today really neither of them could get the job done. Uh, Sanchez came in, you know, when they decided to pull Price, you know, if he does what he's supposed to do, he gets out of the inning, instead he gives up that third run, which turned out to be huge in the end, and then afterwards, uh, in comes Osuna, after the rain delay, Osuna comes in, he can't get people out, you know, he takes the loss. And for a 20-year-old who had just a marvelous really season, did, yeah. um, it's a tough way to lose. And you're right about Price. He gave up the two solo home runs, but aside from, and the second one is a bit cheesy, I think. I thought so, The yeah. second one isn't, isn't necessarily a home run. And other than that, what did he give up? No, he was he really lights out the rest of the way and likely his last start as a Blue Jay. You know, for a guy that's been criticized for not getting it done, he got it done tonight. Yeah, he really did. You know, roller coaster of a night, roller coaster of a game. The roller coaster season for the Blue Jays ends here tonight in Kansas City. A 4 3 loss, 4 2 loss overall in the ALCS. Uh, for Steve Simmons, I'm Rob Longley from Post Media here in Kansas City.